Hi friends, I am Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. This is a video lecture about half adder. Here we will see the diagrammatic representation of a half adder, how we can represent it, its inputs and its outputs, the truth table of the half adder, the implementation of half adder, the circuit implementation and the logical expressions that uh, shows the sum and carries expressions we will uh, see how we can obtain its logical expression and we will also learn how we can uh, make a full adder using half adders so let's uh, start with the diagrammatic representation of a half adder here you can see this is a half adder okay and it has two inputs a and b and it has two outputs sum and carry so first of all let me tell you why it is called as half adder and what is a half adder actually a half adder is nothing but an electronic circuit and it can add two single binary digits using this adder half adder we can add two binary digits and it provides in the sum the outputs as sum and carry we get the sum of the these two single uh, binary digits and the carry produced after this sum therefore we can say that it has two inputs and two outputs two inputs means this a and b these are the two inputs these two single binary numbers like 0 1 1 1 1 0 okay so uh, these combinations of these two inputs and we get an output sum and the carry and we can also create a full adder using two half adders and one or gate since it performs half of the operation of a full adder that's why it is known as a half adder okay now we will see the truth table okay this is the truth table of uh, the half adder and uh, here we have seen that this is half adder is having two inputs a and b and two outputs sum and carry so here we have represented these two uh, inputs of the half adder these are two single uh, binary digits a and b and this is the sum and carry as outputs now you uh, look at this that this a is a binary digit and this b is also a binary digit so this can have either zero or one value and this also can have either zero or one value so uh, we have four combinations here four combinations for these two inputs 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 if we add these two inputs of this half adder then we will get 0 plus 0 as 0 and no carry is produced and 0 plus 1 gives us the sum as 1 and carry is 0. 1 plus 0 gives sum 1 and with 0 carry. But when 1 plus 1 is added, we do not get 2 as our normal mathematics. We get 0 with a production of carry of 1. So this is the case in uh, digital electronics so you can see that uh, here we are adding two single binary digits and are getting the sum and carry as the output now if you observe this uh, sum part only now focus on the sum part we will see that this operation this uh, if we have two inputs a and b and this is the output then we you can easily understand that this is nothing but a x or b since we know that a x or b when the inputs are same both the inputs to the xor gate are same we get zero here it is zero zero so we are getting zero and here we have one one we are getting zero a x or means a bar b plus a b bar and its property is if both inputs are same like this one one or zero zero then we get zero if they have uh, different inputs if the inputs are uh, opposite to each other then we get one as output so this uh, sum is nothing but the a x or b so we can represent the sum output of the half adder as a x or b now if you focus on the carry part just hide this sum part uh, so that you can focus on the carry part if you see this is this is nothing this carry part if you consider it as output and these a and b as the inputs of the gate then you will easily understand that this is nothing but the end gate this is a and b carry is what a and b since uh, if any of the input is zero in a and b if any input is zero at least uh, if one input is zero then you will get output as zero and only in one case you will get output one when both the inputs are one so this is nothing but the end gate because a and b is zero 
when any of the input is 0 and it, it is 1 when both the inputs are 1. So we can represent this carry as A and B. Now we will see the logical expression for it and we will see how we can represent how we can implement it with the help of a circuit XOR gates and AND gate. Okay, so let's see it. You can see here that this is the logical expression of half adder as we have already discussed that the sum can be represented as A XOR B. We know it. This is A bar B plus A B bar. Okay, so this is A X or B and this is the carry part. This is A into B. We have seen it that this is A into B. Now we can uh, easily implement the half adder uh, with the help of this uh, these equations, this logical expression that the sum is nothing but A X or B. This sum is what A X or B. So we can use a single X or gate. Okay, this A X or B and uh, two inputs are this and this is a sum and simply the carry can be represented as, as a into b it has taken two inputs this is the input b and this is input a so it is nothing but a into b this is the carry so this is the half adder we have uh, created we have implemented a half adder using two gates one xor gate to represent that it's a sum output and to represent carry we have used one end gate so I think uh, it has become clear. So in the next uh, video lecture, we will see how we can represent a half adder using only NAND gates. And also we will see how we can implement a half adder using minimum number of NOR gates. In further videos, we will see the full adders and uh, various other topics and how we can uh, make, how we can implement full adders using half adders. So if you liked it, please click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel Engineering Made Easy so that you can get latest uploaded videos as soon as they are released. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Friends, for more such videos, you can subscribe my channel Engineering Made Easy. And please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it. For more detailed information, you can visit my blog. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.